what you can't do is you can't escape or cheat the mirror of life, right? There is this mirror principle that we all have to, in a sense, obey. That is just like an evergreen, an ever-present principle, ever-present law. But once you understand it, you can definitely use it to your advantage to generate new circumstances. So let's look at the decurrent life cycle for most people. And I did a video on this a while ago, but I want to bring it up again because I find it so important. And I still, to this day, see so many people who take their cue from their circumstances, who do not really have ingrained this law, this principle in their being. So let's talk about this, right? This is how the current life cycle looks like for most people. This is how they approach life, right? They, they look at what is. Meaning, what, what does that mean? So they, they walk around in life and their focus, their awareness, their attention is purely like 100% objective based, right? It's not subjective based. It's not, you know, faced inward in a subjective world, right? In, in the internal states. No, it's outward focus and it's only focused on what is right now. What is my bank account right now? What is my relationship situation right now? What is my living situation right now? What is my health situation right now and so on right they look at what is and out of that they form an internal state right and probably this happens obviously unwittingly no one would no one who, who understands the life cycle would do this consciously so this happens unwittingly because they are not aware of this life cycle and they're not aware of the mirror principle and how to use it to their advantage so they look at what is right so in the, into their life into the circumstances and what people say what is happening what is going on there is a recession oh my god no no money is money is scare money is lacking oh no there is like you know health stuff going on oh no hopefully i don't get ill and unwittingly they fall in undesired states so they form an internal state out of what is going on and then the mirror of life right reflects more of that back so life is a mirror. We will just in a second look at some very important quotes from Neville Goddard on this subject. But life is a mirror that shows you where you dwell with him, what you made a life with him. Okay, by now, when you follow Neville's teachings, when you follow this channel, this is something that you definitely have understood already. But then why do you why do you still you know approach life from this cycle? Right? Why do you still take your cue from your circumstances? What right now is happening? It's I'm not you know this long and this teachings and also this channel and Neville's teachings nothing has ever said that, you know, you should not, in a sense, value the 3D, right? It's an amazing window of experiences, of opportunities, where you can learn from, where you can grow from. Um, that's that's its purpose, and w which reflects you. So you don't have to, in a sense, forcefully ignore it. You can acknowledge it and, and celebrate it if things are as you want them to be. That's totally fine. But it's simply meaning that, again, the 3D, the external circumstances are not final. So if right now you have health symptoms and you take your cue from that and you say, oh my God, no, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. Then you make it final for yourself because you accept that state based on the objective external reality. But that's exactly what we don't want to do, right? Is we want to look at what is, acknowledge it, all right. But if it's not to our liking, then we want to change and actually not accept it as final, which is what we're going to talk about in a second. But this for right now, this is the cycle, quite sadly for most people. They look at what is, what's been said, what's been happening. They form unwittingly and stay out of that so they remain in what is and then they just get more of it they don't escape it and that is obviously not the recommended life cycle so how can we escape that now this is the new life cycle that i want to help as much as people as possible to to integrate into their lives right so the new life cycle simply starts not as a previous one with looking what is no it starts to see okay you can still acknowledge what is but you're now not taking a cue from that you have your internal state as you want it to be. And that is what you start with, right? So step one is you assume and shift into a new state through your imagination, right? Becoming aware what it feels like to be this, to have this. To see, you see your preference, right? You, you are in the state that you want to be in regardless of the circumstances. Doesn't mean you cover your eyes and you become delusional and you fully ignore them. But you become more focused on the non-physical. You become focused on, on, on your subjective world, on where you dwell within. Again, without, without dismissing the 3D completely, you're still in it. But when you understand that it's not final, that it is reverberant, that it is that it's changing according to where you stand within, then why do you want to hide from the 3D? Why do you want to run away from it? It's never there to oppose you, to be against you. When you have triggers, when you have desires, because you don't like things as they are, then this is an invitation to now go in such a state where the current circumstances no longer trigger you, 
And because you've went into a new state, over time you will see new circumstances. So never make the 3D a problem, right? And never start by looking at what right now is and saying, okay, this is who I am. This is what life gave me. This is what I have to accept as true. No, we start right now to be in that state that we want to be in, regardless of what right now is happening. Okay, that's step one, our internal state. Right? We identify with the version of ourselves we want to be. We identify with the wish fulfilled state where we now have what we want to have. No matter what still life is reflecting back. And then the mirror of life will start to reflect it back. But keep in mind, this, this period is where most people fail. Because most people start to shift in this internal state. But before the mirror of life can, in a sense, fully reflect back the new state, still the old state that they previously were in, which, you know, just imagine here is the old state you previously were in. Okay, that's here. You now start to shift in that state. And the mirror of life is always mirroring, you know, mirroring what is happening in you in a delayed way. So it can be that although you started to shift in that new state, it can be that the mirror of life still for quite some time reflects back some of the old states, some of the old beliefs, some of the doubts and worries. So don't get discouraged by that, right? This is basically, this is stage two in manifestation. Stage one is new state. Stage two is usually the, the, the day of, you know, um, or like the, the period of the wall or seemingly no progress, seemingly the opposite, seemingly no changes, seemingly you get stuff that you absolutely don't want, right? Or, or there's seemingly no movement. But if you then again fall for looking at what is, because you're still living by the old mirror of life, uh, sorry, the old cycle of life, so you're still looking at what is, you failed in a sense, right? You didn't really fail, because you can always realign at any second you notice, but you stay stuck, right? If you look what is, oh no, I still see old changes. So don't get discouraged. If in, for a little while, you still get reflected back some old stuff, right? That's that's playing out, right? The old story dying, or as it's called in the community. So you stay in an internal state, life starts to mirror that. But it can be that in that time, you get some old stuff back. And then you can look what is, but then it's no longer looking what is being like, oh my God, is, is it here yet? Oh my God, it's here yet. So yeah, now I no longer have to do any internal work or anything be present or be conscious or shift into other states. Now I have a manifestation. Now that's it. Now I can settle. No. Right? You can look what is being like, oh, cool. That's showing me that I that I did the right internal shift. So keep let's keep going. Right? Never become attached. Never settle to what right now is. That you will have other desires. Maybe phases where you have more desires, phases where you have less desires. But you should never forget yourself in the 3D. Never forget yourself in the dream of life. Never forget yourself in your state, in your current circumstances. See that they're a reflection of your state, but you are, you're not the circumstances, right? Because they're only a reflection of your state and you're also not the state. You're the being, you're the awareness, you're the I am, you're the operant power that can shift into a new state. Therefore, get new circumstances. So that means you are never the circumstances, you are never the state. When you don't like the circumstances, then go into a new state. That means your current circumstances will become irrelevant and then new circumstances will appear, right? That's the new cycle of life to master your fate, right? So let's compare it quickly. Old one, you look what is, you look at the doubts that come up. You Looking at what is doesn't only mean you look at the circumstances. It can only be on the, on, the, on the subtle circumstances, such as your emotions, such as your worries, your doubts. If you look what is and you say, oh, I have this, that means I can't manifest it. You take a cue from that. And you take a cue from that, boom, you fall back in the old state. You form a new internal state and you see more of, okay, I can't have it. It's not here yet. I'm trying to get it and so on. Don't take your cue from your circumstances. Don't take your cue from your current circumstances. All right? Not fighting them, not forcefully ignoring them because that is then you making it bigger than you. Simply acknowledge what is, right? Acknowledge what right now is. Right now we're here. Okay, we have those circumstances. We start to shift into a new internal state, right? We make this alive. The mirror of life might still reflect back the previous state, but over time, when we stay in that state, nurture that, maneuver back in it, should we react the opposite, right? Should we fall out of it, so to speak? That's no problem. Don't be, don't be harsh with yourself. Don't try to over-optimize yourself and be perfect at all of this. Gently maneuver back. And over time, the mirror of life will also show you that new state back. And then you can look what is. You can look in the mirror of life and see, wow, my state is manifested. What I, my wish fulfilled that I, you know, encountered through my imagination, the scene that I imagined that implied a certain thing for me now happened, or the implication of that that state is now expressed. Cool. But then, 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 then don't forget yourself in that again. 
simply keep like keep this cycle always in the back of your mind and then you keep going so this is what neville had to say about this right the world is the mirror magnifying all that i am conscious of being right so wherever you shine your awareness on whatever you keep alive in your imagination and that is what your world mirrors back whatever you are identified with whatever you claim yourself to be so stop trying to change the world right and the the image of the cycle illustrated that stop trying to change the mirror that's that's not the step one but in, in both examples it was not step one to change something in the mirror that doesn't work it is literally like you going to your bathroom or like you looking in a in a mirror right and you have a neutral face and you want that mirror image to smile it is it doesn't make any sense right but when we smile first then the mirror image also smiles back but since we already smile we would not even need to see the mirror image it's just like a reflection of what we already did within same with life right the 3d represents the physical bathroom mirror and your internal world represents your own smile your own state in which state you dwell so stop trying to change the world we change within we shift within we realign within we re rise within to a, to a new level to the level where our desire is now realized because men's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in hope of changing his face leave the mirror and change your face right so don't do anything here don't look at what right now is change your face aka your state the reality you dwell in right leave the world alone and change your conception of yourself the reflection then will be great will be confirming freedom or imprisonment satisfaction or frustration can only be differentiated by the consciousness of being so freedom or imprisonment satisfaction or frustration these are all states right by the conscious consciousness of being but if you take your con if you take your consciousness away of being conscious of imprison being conscious of um, frustration and you place your consciousness on freedom on satisfaction on partnership on being in this relationship on being more financial free right if you make this a life in yourself then the old one will no longer be will stop to be reflected back and a new reality will then be reflected back the world is a mirror forever reflecting what you are doing within yourself and with that i want to conclude this video i hope this was clear and please keep this cycle in mind right please stop looking at what right now is and and by the way now you hear this and now it makes sense now you feel empowered now you feel good now you say okay yes i can do this but trust me since since you know we have this human part of us and we sometimes then forget all of that and then you are in two weeks and three weeks from now again something happens and you're like getting mad and all of that and you react you're triggered to all of that and if you then don't realign right if you forget yourself in the circumstances and all of that and you look what is and hmm, then you again fall for this so that's why you really have to keep this in mind again the, the accountability you still have to apply it by yourself but the accountability the reminders the unique game plan for your situation all of that that is what i can provide to you in the program where there's like a system reminders printouts worksheets videos live calls one-on-one -on -one support a community where this really starts to become a lifestyle and not just oh yeah this sounds cool yeah but then two weeks later you again react and then don't do anything don't do any internal realignment about it right so i can help you stay accountable if you want that, then just apply for my program. That's the second link in the video description. So keep, please keep this cycle in mind. That is really key. Let me know your questions. Let me know your feedback. Let me know if this is helpful. Um, and I look forward to speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.